Hollywood and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee is one of my favorite theme parks of all time. It has some of the greatest roller coaster collections in the world, at least that I've experienced. So today I'm going to be counting down all coasters at Dollywood ranked. Number nine is Whistlepunk Chaser is an Imperla Kitty Coaster. This roller coaster is probably the worst kitty coaster I have ever been on. It has the worst restraints ever. I mean, like the worst in Cedar Creek Mine Rise restraints. I just don't like this ride. It's not really my thing. But if you are small and you're little, you love this ride. Number eight is Blazing Fury, manufactured by Dark Ride Enclosed. This roller coaster is also not very special. However, I do like it better than Fire in the Hole at Silver Dollar City. Even though it doesn't have the splashdown, I think the dark ride portions are a lot better. I do think the drops that are in between the rides layout are better. Fire in the Hole is just flat out not good. But this ride is decent. I honestly was pretty surprised by this ride. But at the same time, it's just okay. Number seven is Dragonfly of Bacoma Family Suspended Roller Coaster. This roller coaster is just okay. It's probably one of my favorite family coasters out there. It's just so cool. And I like how there's like theming around the area. And I just like Wildwood Grove as a whole. I think Dollywood did a great job with the area. Number six is Fire Chaser Express, a Gerslauer family coaster. This coaster was my first ever coaster by the manufacturer Gerslauer. And I honestly thought this takes the cake for the best family coaster of all time. Like, I mean, I love this coaster so much. Even though it doesn't crack my top 25 even, it's still a really good ride for the little kids. And it's just a really good family coaster overall. And that's why I enjoy it so much. Cracking the top five at Dollywood is Mystery Mine, a Gerslauer Eurofighter. This roller coaster is actually really fun. I really do enjoy it. It is a little head banging, but besides that, this roller coaster is pretty awesome. And I'm not going to spoil it for everybody, but I just think this is an amazing ride. Second coaster by Gerstler, I just really love it. Number four is Wild Eagle, the BM Wing Coaster. This roller coaster is actually really good. It cracks my top 20 at number 16, and I really do like this ride. It's really fun. And it's actually my favorite wing coaster. The other wing coaster I've ridden is Gatekeeper, which isn't that good. And I really enjoy this ride, and it's something I highly recommend when you visit Dollywood. Number three is Tennessee Tornado and Arrow Looper. This roller coaster is very, very fun. It's really intense, and I really do enjoy this ride. It has some of the greatest inversions I probably have ever experienced in my life. And it's just something I'll never forget. And it's one of the most intense coasters I've ridden. Okay, guys, you just got the Thunderhead. Holy crap. That ride was insane. That's right. Number two is Thunderhead, a GCI wooden roller coaster. Wow. This roller coaster is so much fun. One, it is not better than Mystic Timbers, but this roller coaster is still one of my favorite wooden roller coasters of all time. I love this roller coaster so much, and I can't get enough of it. It cracks my top 10, and I really enjoy this ride. I just got off a of lightning rod for my first ever time. Oh my god. I am pretty sure all you saw this coming. Number one at Dollywood is Lightning Rod, an RMC launched wooden topper track roller coaster. This roller coaster is so good. I love this ride so much. This is my number one favorite roller coaster of all time. It's so much fun. It's so intense. It's filled with airtime. Probably the strongest I've ever felt in my life. And it's just so good. It left me speechless the first time I got off of it. It was that good. It was so much fun. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this amazing list of the top nine coasters at Dollywood or all coasters at Dollywood ranked. I hope you enjoyed. I just really love this park and I had to give it a list. Prepare for more lists in the future. So thank you all for watching Theme Park Base and I'll see you all next time.